Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky 2.42. <laughs> this is normal mode. Today we're going to go do some Nexus missions, but uh, first we have a little business to take care of. We have uh, surpassed the three hours and five jumps uh, thing, and we are headed into a freighter battle. I thought that I would try to pick it, like, differently. <laughs> I've tried a couple of places and thought, eh, I don't want to fight there. <laughs> so I added some uh, hyperdrives to the engine, and now it's just about picking a system to go to. Someplace preferably away from where we've been playing so that we get some different planet types uh, for the Nexus missions, mostly. And oh, there's a wealthy Viking system. There's only one planet, so depending on what that planet is like, we might get to do something there. <laughs> and it's going to have rings. <laughs> Someday they'll fix that. Here we go. Looks like we're fighting right in the rings. Here we go. Let's go get this guy first. I'm gonna try to head him off. There we go. Try not to hit the freighter. Oh, hello. Just super fast, though, huh? <laughs> Can you imagine the G forces involved in that? <laughs> Provided the inside of your cockpit had gravity. <laughs> this blue thing. Let's go find out what class it is. <laughs> I missed the door. <laughs> uh, Isokita or Yosokita. The Yosokita is a B28 and 6. The reason why I don't like the style of freighter is because of all these things. I don't enjoy having all that right in front of the thing there. All right, what kind of planet do we have? It is a hot planet. Good grief. Well, let's try again. Looking for some place like trippy interesting to do uh, the Nexus missions. Nexus, if my mouth will form completely about the word. Let's back up, get away from the center. Is that one of my fleets still out there? Looks like it. There is another system, Wealthy Viking. I think we'll pick this one. It's got four planets. Whoa! That is a big white frozen ball. And there is a Fisher planet. There's two frozen planets here. The moon is, actually the moon is a lush. I would not have guessed that from this distance. <laughs> Town of Yan. Yes, yes. <laughs> we'll meet you over here. <laughs> 
Got. My god, that looks fungal from space. You were saying? <laughs> I don't even know that they want what they wanted to steal from me. <laughs> Got here. Ooh, a new Viking rank. Rank seven. Moons always have these huge atmospheres, which makes them cool in their own way. That is a monolith right there. We have brown and green grass. This looks very, very trippy. Looks like the trees maybe change color depending on the light of the day. Blistering damp. Low sentinels. Big monolith. <laughs> Last couple of times that I've done monoliths, I've actually gotten the answer wrong. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> it means it's been long enough that it's new to me again. <laughs> the command of the Viking ancients sacrificed the beast. Blood for Herc. The monolith shows images of creatures lying dead before it, each sacrifice butchered and offered up to whatever gods were once worshipped here. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do what I'm told, I guess. I blast the woodland animal in two. The monolith conjures a powerful wind, roaring its appreciation. As the vision fades, I'm left with a gift. I have learned the atlas word for something. It was way too fast for me to see. Let's grab a portal. Since I happen to have a dagger on me. More words of Viking. I don't like this organ, uh, organ music. A lot of people do like it. I think it's disturbing. <laughs> Let's go grab a mission before we don't have time to do one. <laughs> we will come back to this. There's some place I want to take you, uh, possibly tomorrow. We have blue skies. I didn't even realize that till just now. <laughs> and the last planet is also frozen. It is regular. Maybe the uh, portal will show up, shut up when we go in here. <laughs> <laughs> actually spent uh, quite a bit of time today trying to fix the sound on my headset on the microphone and uh, the thing is uh, oh right away huh right straight into violence right away uh, the thing is is that um, a lot of changes were made to my computer the other day when the internet company was certain it that it was my computer causing the problem and not letting me go online and so I just have to get through all the different menus and uh, find the echo it's somewhere so now we are in Anyangal. <laughs> that is an aggressive sentinel planet. The moon 
is ultramarine. That is apparently where we are going. Compromised facility. <laughs> Mission started non-compliant analysis is the name of the mission. <laughs> Boy, that turned red in a hurry. No, I couldn't see that at all. I saw like a flash of green for a second. I was like, I'm diving on that. That might be what I need. <laughs> Six shots that time. Terminal's covered in a thick purple substance. Touch the display. Gingerly I touch the terminal, but it does not respond. Slather with pugnium. You gotta keep yourself in pugnium to do these missions. Uh, the terminal, settle down there, doggy. <laughs> terminal comes alive, coordinates flash rapidly across the display in a strange purple script. Too much coffee today. <laughs> Hi, doggo. Hey, a word. Guessing the gun is loaded. It was very bizarre for ultramarine. It certainly is red. <laughs> Let's go get it. Go get it done. Whoa! Thank you, Hello Games, for the backup key. <laughs> Those guys took their time rendering in. <laughs> right down in this hole, maybe? Oh, it's the next hole over. There we go. <laughs> Thought maybe it was going to force me to land in a precarious position. position. Way too much coffee. Hi, guys. not very much room to fight in. <laughs> Taking five stars into space. Oh, it went down to one star. <laughs> that was a really <laughs> that was a really short turn. <laughs> get a circuit board for that. Add that to the other 80 circuit boards that I have. Completo! There's 250 quicksilvers and 
a circuit board. I'm not doing it again right now, am I? <laughs> Let's go do something I haven't done in a few days. Can I have some nanites? I'm not asking for a lot. <laughs> Planet data. What are we getting? Oh man. Darn it. <laughs> I wanted more. <laughs> Milestone data. So the problem with doing this, uh, same exact <laughs> mission again is that like is not we're gonna get sent to the same exact depot I've heard that happening to a lot of people and then I'd have to call in the roamer and find a depot to destroy and um, I think part of the reason for that is is because you only actually have to destroy one depot and so I don't want to lose this system so let's drop into the space station really quickly that was pretty pretty lucky getting that walker down in that shortest space <laughs> <laughs> It's all good fun. <laughs> so at the time of filming this, I don't actually know uh, if we're going to have a um, weekend community event uh, because I'm filming this ahead of that. So regardless of the weekend community event, I realized I still need to get uh, Quicksilver missions done. All right, Epolar, Epolar, that's where we were. Let's go over here, that's uninhabited. Doesn't work if it's uninhabited. There's a lot of uninhabited places around here. See, so I can go, oops, what was that? Thought I saw something good right there. Here we go. I can go 1,500 light years now. Uh, I haven't worked on the hyperdrives. I just added them. Uh, so six medium to low quality hyperdrives. All right, we should be far enough away that if we do the depot mission, we'll go to a different system. It's good because we get all this stuff, uh, you know, and that saves a lot on having to make it because these things are kind of expensive to make. You know, when you pile it up, four aronium is 200 paraffinium and 200 ionized cobalt, and they're all like that. All those bits and pieces are like that doesn't seem like very much when you're only making one, but when you're making 30 or 40, it really piles up. So that's free stuff. 10 batteries. All right, let's go get some more. Eye to eye. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's going to send us to another crazy system. I wonder why the system that you're in is never good enough. <laughs> wow. SFE. Uh, petrified. I don't think we have any calcified stars. Uh, that's not the planet. There we go. It's another moon. I guess we'll find out when we get there. 
Maybe I can scan now. A lost blue moon. Let's hope it's not red. <laughs> they have indium here. I don't need any because I can make it in the refiner. But this is a good way to get these stellar metals if you uh, don't want to cook them. Right, let's be careful. Don't know what it's going to be like down here. Rings! Woohoo! <laughs> I like the rings. They're super fun. <laughs> Hi, doggos. Nanites. <laughs> the terminal is covered in a thick purple substance. I bet you can't guess how this is going to go down. <laughs> Probably gonna run out of pugnium. There's 146. We'll add that to the pile. Uh, I have 1300. I'm not gonna run out. <laughs> Righty, here we go. I love planets like this. Where the giant flora aren't trying to kill you. <laughs> Just having a little fun with the landing there. I hear bouncies though. Think because of the storm. There he is. Got him again. Who? <laughs> oh, that's a low one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> than a barrel of monkeys on crack. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got this time. More aronium. That down there. Got some thermic condensate. That's awesome. That's uh, sulfurine and conde condensed carbon. Uh, I don't have a farm yet, but there's a really great farm in the UAS called the Golden Royal Mint, where we can go load up on stasis devices. Uh, enriched carbon is the same. It takes radon, though. Here's some more nitrogen. Let's go get paid. <laughs> And completo. There's another 500 quicksilvers. <laughs> it only leaves two missions, so uh, yeah, that'll take a long time. <laughs> Let's go drop in on the space station. It won't be in this system. It'll be in the system I went to. Oh, thank you for telling me. 
depot destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Such good information. So timely. <laughs> I like this color. Maybe I can get some combat frigates here. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm carrying the gold and the silver right now. Uh, that's full. In fact, uh, I sold uh, almost 20,000 chromatic metal uh, yesterday. I don't remember how I picked it up now. Oh, that was weird looking. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> uh, we're level 7 now, so let's see, here we go. That's just level 0. Hmm. That's level 5. Shouldn't we be able to do that one? I don't know how it works anymore. Let's grab the nanite. <laughs> door. Door. <laughs> What do we got here? Huh. C-class. Barf. <laughs> that really late rendering is uh, on purpose. Uh, I have my system set down pretty low at this point. And um, working on getting through the apocalypse <laughs> so that we can... <laughs> so that we can get together, my brother and I, and work on my computer. Get some good stuff going for it. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, you guys. We got a couple of missions done. If not for the goofing off at the beginning, we get more done. <laughs> so I'm going to try and we'll try and go someplace super special tomorrow uh, through the portal. Uh, I have a photograph of something pretty amazing, and it comes with a Euclid portal address, so we're going to try that tomorrow. I want to thank you all so much for coming along. We'll see you then. Have a great day.